control and cleaning of radiation pollution and deactivating radioactive dust. Ukraine's rescue services are preparing to manage and deal with the risk of a potential nuclear accident at the Zaporizhia power plant in southeastern Ukraine. First, we do radiation control of people in the so-called dirty zone. The additional radiation control is done after people leave the clean location. We know how they are clean from radiation pollution, radioactive dust and dirt. If people are clean, they're given clothes and they're moved to social organizations. Kiev and Moscow have blamed each other for repeated shelling at and around the Russian-held facility, Europe's largest nuclear power plant, with the international community warning of a heightened risk for a large-scale nuclear accident. I would like to stress that the situation remains very risky and dangerous. That is why it is so important for the IAEA mission to arrive at the station as soon as possible and help to keep the nuclear power plant under Ukrainian control for a permanent basis. After months of negotiations, the IAEA, UN's nuclear watchdog, announced Monday that a team of experts from neutral countries will inspect the plant this week. Ukrainian staff have been operating under the orders of Russian forces since the plant was captured in March. The continued shelling has spiked fears of a potential nuclear accident among locals. Of course I'm scared. Everyone is scared. We don't know what will happen next, what is waiting for us every next minute, every second. We bought facial masks and potassium iodide, hoping it will help just in case. The United Nations and Ukraine have called for a withdrawal of military equipment and personnel from the nuclear facility to ensure it is not a target in the ongoing fighting between the invading Russians and Ukraine.